My beautiful friends it's amanda here and it's time for my september favorites i have so much stuff for my favorites video this month i'm gonna try my best not to get stuck on any one thing for too long because there is there's a lot there's a lot i want to talk about this was a great month for finding new products for me specifically but there are a couple of rediscovered favorites in here too not that many there is a heavy fall slash spoopy season theme running throughout these products. Again, not all, but a lot, a lot fit into that category. <laughs> Let's start with some non-beauty favorites. First up is this book. This is definitely my favorite book of the month, but probably one of the best books I've read all year. It's called With the Fire on High, and the author is Elizabeth Acevedo. The story is about a high school senior named Amani, and she is a teen mom, a single mom, and she's navigating her way through her senior year with the help of her grandma. So it's a lot about her relationships with the other people in her family, a lot of self-discovery, and she wants to become a chef. So there's a little sprinkling of magical realism. This was one that I couldn't put down. I've actually had a couple of did not finish reads this year, which is not very common for me. I usually stick with something, but this is by far one of the best books I've read all year. It was a quick read, but it was just really, really good. I was hooked until the very end. I promised you spoopy season and spoopy season I shall give you. This is a clothing favorite. Can you see the print? This is a little skeleton print dress. No zip or anything. It's stretchy, so it's really comfy. It's just like a little skater dress style. I'll put a full-size image over here since I don't have a picture of me wearing it. This dress is so cute. I think I paid like $20, $25 for it. It's super comfortable. It's really cute and fun. It looks great layered with like tights and docks. You can put a sweater over it. It looks really cute with like a jean jacket or a leather jacket. I love to be festive. I love to dress up. My husband says I have really strong art teacher vibes because I love a theme. I love to dress up. I especially love spoopy things, which is spooky but cute. That is my jam, and I absolutely love this dress. I wanted to show this to you now instead of making it an October favorite, even though I'll probably wear it even more in October, because I wanted you to be able to get one in time if you want one of these. It's so cute. I think it runs a little bit big for things that are just like letter size, small, medium, large, whatever. I'm typically either a small or a medium, just depending on what kind of fit I'm going for, and I find the small to be almost bigger than what I want it to be. It still works for me, but if you are like teeny tiny petite, then the small will probably be too big for you. But I do think that this runs a little bit large, but it's really comfy and I love it. I love layering it and it's so fun. Look at these fun little guys. Look at these little cute little skeleton guys. I do have art teacher vibes. <laughs> now let's talk about my favorite fragrance of the month. And this is a really bougie one, but I can't tell you how much I love this fragrance. This is Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford. It's expensive. It's really bougie. It lasts forever. It smells so good. It definitely, it has a sweet and spicy tobacco and vanilla scent that I just absolutely love. It's perfect for fall, but to be honest, this is the type of scent I like to wear all the time because I love a spicy, musky type of smell, so this is absolutely perfect for me. My little travel size one is almost gone. If you like satisfying things, listen to this. It smells good. It's really expensive. For me, it's worth it because I'm easily going to use this up, but you know, just beware. The sticker shock is real when you look at this one on Sephora website. All right, let's move into some more beauty-centric favorites. Now, look, let's talk about nails. I do not really follow the idea that you have to wear spring colors in the spring and, you know, you can't wear dark nails when it's summer or whatever. I just wear whatever I feel like. 
Usually whatever is the palette I'm about to review, as soon as the fall hits, I'm so excited because then darker nail polishes are the norm and I love a little vampy nail moment. This was sort of my transitioning into vampy nails color. This is Star Struck Accord by Essie. It's a dark eggplanty purple, but it has a ton of gold shimmer inside. And this one looks really good with one coat and perfect with two coats for me. I love an easy nail day. Then in a similar vein color-wise, we have these two vampy yet shimmery Zoya polishes. This one called Kai is what I'm wearing right now over a dark gray Butter London polish. I do like to layer this one just so that it can get really deep and vampy and beautiful. But this one I wear on its own. This is Adita. This is a black base, but again, just loaded with gold shimmer. I love these Zoya polishes. They wear beautifully for me. So if you're looking for some vampy fall spoopy season nail colors that are easy breezy to apply and wear really well, Starstruck Accord, Adita, and Kai are my go-tos. I'm basically just rotating through these right now. I have recently kind of flipped things around. For a long time, I was not wearing any foundation just doing some concealer or some skin tint. Now I'm doing no concealer and just wearing foundation all over my face. <laughs> these are a great combo. I like to mix these together or wear them separately just depending on what my activities are for the day and what kind of look I'm going for. This one I go for more for evenings and for filming because it does have a little bit more coverage and not as glowy of a finish. This is the Complexion Crush Foundation from Ulta Beauty. I love this stuff. It's been a long time since just a straight up regular foundation was something that I really, really enjoyed using. I've been on that skin tint train for a couple years now. This is the foundation that has really got me back to wanting to put foundation on my face again. And this is a newer offering from It Cosmetics. This is their CC Plus Nude Glow. I will mix these two for daily wear or just wear this one if I'm out and about not filming or I'm just looking for a more glowy, glowy look on the skin. I also love that this has some SPF built into it. Just FYI, my It Cosmetics CC Plus Nude Glow is in the shade Fair Light. My Complexion Crush is in the shade Fair Neutral just in case you're wondering. I will typically list my shades in the description box too, so make sure you check there if I ever forget to mention it, but I remember this time. Go me. All right, let's talk about cheeks now. I have two very opposite end of the spectrum cheek favorites, one of which is just an individual pressed powder blush from ColourPop. This is the shade new to you. I've been wearing this a ton lately. I've either been pairing it with my Rare Beauty, the Silky Touch highlighter, or today I'm wearing this with this highlighter on top from the Sailor Moon collection. Just put a little bit of that on top sort of as a blush topper more than a highlighter. This plays really well with other face products in general. I think because of the shade being this really classic not too warm, not too cool, just a classic mid-tone rosy pink. It looks good no matter what I wear with it on my eyes, no matter what lip color I wear. I can pile it on and make it really dramatic. I can wear it more sheared out like today and let my other products be the star. Just a good, solid, reliable, basic matte blush. My other cheek favorite is this very expensive but very beautiful Hourglass palette. I did a whole video where I swatched this. You can see a bunch of these powders in action. Long story short, Hourglass powders are, look, they're pricey, but these are so silky smooth. The way that they look on the skin is somehow perfecting and yet natural. All of these colors work so well together. I can't stop picking this up. I love this so much. 
especially this combo right here, these two colors mixed together are just beautiful. I love the packaging. I love this little owl friend. I can't get enough. I'm so glad that it was worth it because this was like 90 bucks. So thank goodness. It's so good and I love every single powder in here. I have a couple of palettes and a couple of lip favorites, but first I just want to shout out an entire collection. This Halloween collection from Angie and Odin's Eye is an instant favorite for me. As soon as I first laid eyes on this, I knew I was going to love it, and I was right. I love every piece in this collection. This Trick or Treat palette is more my speed color-wise. It's what I've been gravitating more towards color-wise. However, I am wearing on my eyes today the Little Ghost palette, and honestly, I love this eye look too. I'm not even usually a blue girl, but as usual, Angie can convince me to like blue. So this whole collection is stunning. This is my favorite of the two palettes, but they're both great. Also, every single one of the lip colors is absolutely beautiful. If you forced me to pick favorites, I would say the matte lip stains are my favorites of the bunch, but these are all beautiful. This whole collection is just absolutely killing it. I love everything. I love every look. I love every lip. I love every swatch. I love it. I love it. It's so good. More spoopiness for the favorites. You probably saw this one coming, right? This is the Nomad Cosmetics Ghost Town USA palette. I have trouble every day doing my makeup because I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I really, really, really love this month. Of course, the two Halloween palettes. Love them. This one, I can't get enough. I can't get enough of this one. This is one of the best Nomad palettes ever that they've ever done, and I have a lot of their palettes, and I like a lot of their palettes. I think this is easily top three material. I need to do a new palette ranking for them, but oh man. I already did a whole review with that one. I did more looks with that one. Did I do two or three looks with that one? I don't know. Love that palette. And you know what? I bet you knew I was going to say this one too. The Tarte Maneater Nightfall palette. I also did two videos with this, a whole swatch and review, and then I did more looks. I honestly am spoiled for choice to the point where I wish that I had extra eyeballs. Typically, I'll have one or two favorite palettes that I go back to over and over again for the month. And here's September, and I have four. This is a great problem to have. I do feel like there was kind of a lull for me this year, and there wasn't a lot of palettes coming out that I was really excited about and really wanting to use and inspired by. And now I have so many to choose from. All of these are easily best palette of the year material. That's probably not a surprise to anybody, though. Okay, I told you there was a lot of stuff. I promise we're almost done. I just have my lip favorites. I have two lip favorites. One is a lipstick. One is a lip oil. Let's start with the lipstick. You saw this in my favorite fall lip colors. This is the shade Tiger from Merit. This is a stunning rusty brown red color. I know you've seen it before if you watched that fall lip colors video. This is just hydrating and sheer and what a lovely brick red type of color. It's so comfy. It's so cute. It will look good with all my fall looks. And the packaging is really cute too. I love this clear packaging and I like that it doesn't roll away on my vanity. My other favorite is from Fantasy Cosmetica. This is one of their new lip oils from the Warlock collection. My personal favorite and the color that I'm wearing in today's video is this shade called Ancient One. In the tube and in the swatch, it looks like a really bright purple, but you can tell it's a lot more approachable on the lips in my opinion. It smells so good. It feels so good. I love this big comfy lip applicator. I just cannot stop wearing this. And I'm usually more of a lip balm than a lip oil person, but this Ancient One lip oil is turning me into a lip oil person. <laughs> that wraps up my September favorites. I would love to hear what you enjoyed this month. 
Do you have any of the same favorites that I do? Do you have any favorites you think I need to know about? Because I might love them. I always love to hear what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okie dokie. I don't know. I don't know. It, 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 that was going to be words. I don't know. I usually list the shades down in the script. I usually sh 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 I give up. Very expensive. What is wrong with me? No, no, I'm not going to. Let's, uh, you, uh, I pre-ordered the unearthly Halloween stuff way back in the summer. And I really hope that it comes soon because I really want to make a video about it. And when I ordered the summer collection, it took approximately 1 billion years to get to me. And so then I felt like nobody really wanted to watch a video about it because it had already been out for so long. So I hope, I hope the Halloween stuff comes earlier. I really like their products. I'm not like being shady to them. I'm just saying, I just hope that it gets here because I want to talk about it. I don't know if I have even made sense for any of this stuff. This eye look though, I mean, come on, come on get out of town. It's so pretty. I definitely filmed this one. It will be up soon. And I'm doing some fun non-work stuff this weekend because mental health. So I'm not going to stress about making extra videos and a million videos. I'm just going to take some time, do some family stuff, do some friend stuff. I'm hanging out with Amy and I haven't seen her in forever. So I'm excited about that. I'm used to being in go mode 24 seven. So I'm trying to not get shingles for a third time, so I need to do not work stuff sometimes. And that's okay. Anyway, take breaks. Um, do things that you love because you love them. Drink water, get some rest, wash your sponges, wear your sunscreen, and give yourself a big old hug from me because you deserve it. And I love your face, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye mm, now. Bye-bye.